So, what is a logarithm? So, a logarithm is given by the form if y is equal to a to the power of x, then x is equal to log sub a y. So, meaning, last time we have discussed about exponents in which if we have here, if we have a to the x, the answer that for that one is y. So, for example, our a is 3, our x is 2, therefore, our y is 9. So, that will be 3 times 3. Now, the logarithm is the inverse of uh, the exponential function. So, for, if we are going to have this one, so x is equal to log a y. So, our x here is 2. Then, the log on base 3, so that is base 3, and our y is, is 9. So, meaning, the log to the base 3 of 9 is equal to 2. So, basically, it's just inverse of our exponential function. Okay? Okay, so, let me go now to the properties of the logarithm. So, of course, we just um, um, go through with this uh, definition of logarithm because this is just a review of your previous learning in high school and also in uh, on your previous subjects in uh, related to mathematics. So, we have now the properties of logarithm. So, in reality, there are 13 properties of logarithm but we will just discuss three which are very useful in our um, subject differential calculus so first we have the multiplication of two numbers so to multiply two numbers so we have log a times b is equal to log a plus log b so this is sometimes called as the uh, multiplicative property of logarithm then next we have to divide two numbers log a over b so it is equal to log a minus log b so this is sometimes called as the uh, quotient uh, property of logarithm then we have the exponential property which is to raise a number to a power so we have log a to the n is equal to the n log a so basically we will be using these three properties to simplify logarithmic equations so for example if we are gi given a certain logarithm so we will be solving for x so we will be using this one to solve that value and also when it comes to the application in differential calculus we have the derivative of logarithms in which we need to be able to simplify logarithmic expression and functions in order for us to solve or in order for us to get the derivative of those functions okay so we have here our first example so we need to solve the equation log x minus 1 plus log x plus 8 equal to 2 log x plus 2 okay so i hope uh, some of you are following okay so for those of you who are not able to follow or some of you are cut off from the live stream so you just replace your uh, refresh your browser so that you can um, you can see the whole lecture again or you or the the browser will be able to um, refresh also so that you will be back on the live stream okay so let's continue with the example so here we need to solve for x so that is the meaning when we say solve for the equation okay so first we will apply the properties of logarithm okay solution here we'll just erase first the other. this one okay so we need to have our solution so we have log x plus 1 plus log x plus 8 is equal to 2 log 
x plus 2. So, using the first property, the multiplicative property, this property of logarithm. So, we will just multiply those two quantities, the x plus 1 and the x plus 8. So, we will end up with log x plus 1 times x plus 8 is equal to this one. We will use the exponential property this one so this is 2 log uh, I believe that is x plus 2 okay so we just transform this one into log okay log x plus 2 squared okay next we will be we will be um inversing this one okay so we will have this one 10 okay log x plus 1 times x plus 8 is equals to 10 log x plus 2 squared so this is another property of a logarithm which you raise to the base 10 so that the log the logarithmic function will become a simple algebraic function so we will just end up with x plus 1 x plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 squared okay now from this one we will now solve for x okay so maybe we could copy this one We'll find a new slide and copy this one. Okay. okay, so we'll find a new writing space here that will be x plus 1, okay, x plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 squared so we will multiply these two binomials so we'll end up with x squared so x times x then 1 times x so that will be x then we have x times 8 so that will be plus 8 8x i believe we have made a uh, mistake here on our sink signs this will be plus positive uh, then negative Okay, so we will change that one. We will be having a different function uh, answer if we have missed a single uh, single sign. Okay, or x minus one, x minus one. So this will be here. X minus one. Okay, x minus one. So. So this is x minus 1 this is x squared and this is this will be negative okay negative so this will be positive x times 8 then we have negative 8 is equal to so this is just a square of a binomial so that will be x squared plus 4x plus 4 Okay, then simplify this one further. We have x squared minus a plus 7x minus 8 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. So we will transpose this one to this side of the equation. So all of the positive sign here will be negative. So we have x squared. This one will be minus x squared plus 7x transpose this on the other side that would be negative 4x then we have negative 8 minus 4 is equals to 0 so this will be equal to 0 so we'll end up with 7x minus 4x that will be 3x minus 8 minus negative 8 minus 4 that will be 12 okay negative 12 is equal to 0 so we have 3x is equal to 12 x solving for now for x 12 over 3 okay so your x is equal to 
So your x is equal to 4. And this will be your answer for example number 1. Okay? So any questions so far? Okay? Some of you are following us here. Okay? Any question? Okay, any question? So, if you have question, okay, or are you following the discussion? I believe there is some delay on some of you because of the signal, and I hope you are following. So, of course, after this live stream, it will be posted on our group, uh, Facebook group, and you can still review everything. So, you can replay everything. So, it will be posted on the guides, okay? Okay, so maybe let's continue with another example. I believe there is no questions here. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Iskilio is have posted about the example. Okay, so I guess you are still following the discussion. Okay. okay next, we will have another example here. So we have log x squared minus 3 minus log x is equal to 2. Of course, we will be solving again the value of x. So there is a, a certain um, um, joke on mathematics that uh, the mathematicians are always try to find x. So if they have solve x um, today, the next day they will be again saying or solving for x so that is uh, maybe the curse of a mathematician always solving for x if x is found they will be solving another variable which is y z so on and so forth but of course um, mathematics have um, have made the life of or the advancement of humanity um, faster than it is anticipated so imagine a world without mathematics of course this uh, Facebook live will not be happening um, um, if uh, humans have not managed to um, understand the concept of mathematics okay so again that is another uh, discussion so that I believe that is uh, that is part of the subject of mathematics in the modern world in which we are going to appreciate the value of mathematics to our modern society okay but of course that is beyond the scope of this subject and this topic so we will continue answering this example okay so again the example is log x squared minus 3 minus log x is equals to log 2 we are going to solve for um, x okay so we will use the properties of logarithm to solve this one okay so we have log x squared minus 3 minus log x is equal to log 2 so using the second property so we're going to box the property so that is minus so the quotient property of logarithm so we just transform this one into a a fraction so this the abscissa so the abscissa is the one inside the quantity so that is the one which is we are going to get the log value okay so we have log x squared minus 3 over x is equal to log 2 then raise everything by base 10 okay this is 3 not 2 is equal to equal to 10 log 2 so we'll end up with x squared minus 3 over x is equal to 2 okay, we are running out of um, real estate here okay 
and you should new slide okay. Okay, I'm gonna add a new slide happen to my uh, okay so we have we have x squared this uh, x squared minus 3 over x okay we'll copy this to the another to the next slide so we have x squared minus 3 over x is equal to 2 then we multiply both sides by x so we end up with x squared minus 3 is equal to 2x okay and after this one we'll just transpose the 2x to the other side of the equation so if you are wondering what happened to the x here so it will be cancelled out cancelled out by this x because we multiply both sides so meaning both sides will be multiplied by x so we will have an x here what will happen is we will have an x here then just this will just be cancelled out because we have an x in the numerator an x in the de denominator and that will just be cancelled out so on the other side we just multiply directly with x okay so transposing this one that will become negative 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 and now solving for the value of x so we just factor out we just factor this one I believe if it could be factored okay that will be negative 2 let's just check if it could be factored okay let's just check I will just check first if it could be factored 3 so we have 1 negative 2 and 3 okay so this this cannot be factored and will be beyond our scope here scope of our topic so maybe we could uh, end this one for this here so we could have this one as our answer of course the value of this one will be an imaginary number if we are going to check our solution it will be negative okay and we will, and that is beyond our scope of the topic so we will be going to advanced engineering mathematics for the evaluation of imaginary numbers so we'll just end up with the solution on this part of the as uh, we we'll just end up with this part of the solution and this just, just will be our answer so of course, we, we are not, we don't manage to solve for x because that will be beyond the scope of this topic. But we have managed to simplify the equation itself. Okay? So, let's check again. If you are following. Okay? So, some of you are following or not. Okay, so Mr. Torno is saying that he could only see the comments. Okay, uh, maybe Mr. Torno, you, you need to buy a new cell phone. Okay, okay so Mr. Ciperino, ganihara ko ga klase. Okay. okay so let's continue so i believe let's just see if who is in here we have the live count for the videos okay dashboard graphics it's okay dashboard still loading okay So, for those of you who are, are still um, watching the live stream, so kindly comment. Kindly comment on the group chat.
because I could not see here on the screen here who are still um, who are currently watching so the the logs are the event log for the live stream is currently um, disabled okay so we okay so skilio and arman is watching and i hope they are the, you are you managed to understand the last um the last example of course we have now have the last example okay so this is the very last example and after that we will end this session and i will give you your sit work so i will be posting the sit work okay so let's continue okay so we have this one solve for the equation one half log four is equal to log x okay so we have here the solution okay so we'll be just using here one property of logarithm which is the um, exponential property so we have n log uh, a is equal to log a to the n so this uh, this one here we are going to apply that uh, property okay so we will end up with this will be one half log four so we could rewrite that one as log uh, one half a uh, log four raised to the power of one half okay then then we will simplify this one here so that we log square root of 4 is equal to log x so if you go back to the properties of uh, exponents so the log of uh, one half or the uh, the not not the log but f uh, four or a number raised to an exponent which is a fraction so that will that could be transformed into a radical number okay and of course the topic for radical numbers will be discussed on uh, next topic or the next meeting which will be this coming Monday okay so we have 10 log square root of 4 is equal to 10 log x okay so we'll end up with square root of 4 is equal to x so our x will be equal to square root of you know square root of 4 then our x will be equal to 2 and this will be our answer okay so the last example is very easy and the solution is somewhat short okay okay so i hope you manage to follow the last uh the last example okay 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 so again if you are not able to uh, see or to see the live stream it will be posted on the group also the facebook group just go to the guides and you and you will have the replay of this whole discussion okay so i hope you understand the the um problem you manage to um went through the whole uh, so solving of the problem okay so again thank you for um thank you for 
thank you for I, I, so I am reading currently your chat okay so thank you for your time thank you for entering the uh, for watching the live stream so this is a way for us in order to have a live discussion because we are required to have a live discussion aside from the posting of videos and the um, so-called uh, the uh, learning materials so uh, uh, with regards to your allowance so just uh, just stay put just be patient of course that the reason for us we are using Facebook so that it is affordable for you to um, to have a data using Facebook because uh, as I posted on our group chat uh, last night that you only need 10 pesos to have one gig for three days okay so our live discussion like this one will be during will be every Monday Tuesday and Wednesday so we will I will set a live discussion so I will of course it will be via Facebook live and I will be sending the link or you just go directly to the uh, Facebook group also we will have also this the same uh, live discussion for our top for our subjects in physics and advanced uh, instrumentation and blueprint reading so I will just post uh, the date for the live or for the online discussion okay so I hope you learned something from this uh, Facebook live okay so and after this one a few minutes after this one I will be posting the uh, sit work the deadline for the sit work will be on um, this coming Monday so just PM to me the your answer your the photo of your solution for those of you who are going go who are planning to go to school so you are not allowed to go in groups because of the implementation of the modified enhanced community quarantine so I know that there are some of you who have their um, modular um, subjects so you are going to get your modules your teachers will just or your instructors will just um, communicate with you on when and how to get your modules and as per advice please do not go in groups to avoid any um, to to follow the safety uh, safety health safety health protocols okay so please uh, stay safe so daily maglaag lag and because also we will have a curfew so now the curfew uh, posted in the province so we just hope that this um, this pandemic will cease and so that we will be coming back to um, to the normal so to the normal okay so for your allowance it will just be you, you will just be um, informed on how to get if ever it will be released so just uh, we'll just wait patiently um, of course the this uh, uh, I and some of your instructors will find a way for you to be able to learn even if uh, we lack the resources and also we are not on a face-to-face -face, um, classes okay so just uh, bear with us just uh, actively um, answer the assignments actively participating on uh, online online discussion read your modules if you are doing the modular in some of the subjects okay so because we are uh, you are test the scholar so it is expected for you to perform well because the government is giving you money it is uh, the uh, uh, the government is giving you money for you to be good on your studies okay so i hope you learned something from today's discussion so see you on the next online discussion and as always enjoy learning